First of all, thank you all for being here. This is a great day for us, first official practice day. Uh, sunny and 75 in my mind. I don't know what it is, but it's better than being indoors and uh, the alternative. So I'm excited to get started with this team. We had an excellent fall practice season. Uh, I really like the work they did. I really like the improvements our team made. I look forward to seeing where we're at as we restart. We're not going to be game ready today, nor do I expect us to be. Uh, but it's a good starting point, and we've got three weeks to get ready, and I'm confident our team will do that. I uh, look forward to seeing what, uh, where we start and where we can uh, take this 2018 team to. Coach, you start the season off with a tough stretch. Three of your first five opponents made the NCAA tournament last right. year. Uh, just what, what is that going to mean for this team to, to go up against high-quality opponents like that? Well, you always challenge yourself the best you can schedule-wise, and, and we're at the mercy of the schedule opportunities. Some, some teams want to play, some teams don't, but in this particular year, we've got an extremely challenging early season schedule. Um, any opponent to open the season is a challenge because we don't know enough about them to really be comfortable. They don't know enough about us, and neither team will be you know, fully ready to play. you got to figure that out. And then immediately we go on the road against two NCAA tournament teams, one World Series team in week two. So we're going to be challenged right away. I think that's great. I think we'll learn a lot about our team, good or bad. Uh, we'll figure out what we need to do to get ready. And, you know, middle of March we open up conference play, and I think we'll have enough great competition on our belts to be prepared for our Sun Belt Conference schedule, and, uh, which is a 30-game difficult stretch of games. Coach, how awesome is it from this past season to really dominate – when you're looking at the Auburns, Alabamas, UABs, be really strong in this state. How much is it a pride thing for your staff, your players to come out, be the top team in the state? Well, it's it's a goal of ours, quite frankly. We talk about it. Uh, we play every team in our state this year. Uh, some years we do, some years we don't. This year we do. And our goal is to be the best team in the state in our own competition. And uh, that's awfully challenging, certainly. Uh, all these teams in our – I mean, our state of Alabama's got some really good college baseball teams up and down the state and really at all levels. Junior College World Series team down in Dothan, and you know Division II programs, Division III program, NAI Faulkner's always in the championship game. So we've got great college baseball. So every time you play a Jacksonville State, a Sanford, an Auburn, an Alabama, whomever it may be in our state, it's a great competition, and our guys do take pride in that. We make it a focal point, and that'll that'll be one of our goals this year to be the best team in the state. Coach, your pitching staff. It looks like Crane will be the Friday night guy again. Lose Corey Gill, don't know how long he'll be out. Can you talk about the rotation, what you're looking at with those guys? Well, it's great to have returning guys that were in key roles. And, and certainly Andrew Crane fits that bill. He, he established himself last year as one of the better Friday night guys in our conference. Uh, there's no reason for us to think he can't begin the season in that role, and hopefully he'll flourish. Um, Losing Corey Gill is, is going to be a blow early in the year. There's a chance he can get back healthy and pitch this season. That's an unknown right now. But Corey was a, another guy that had pitched in some big games, and we'll lose that. But uh, we've got some really good guys back. You know, we threw six freshmen last year, and all those guys are back with a year of experience. We've also got Corey Childers, who's done a little bit of everything in our program. He started, relieved, closed. Uh, Everything in between with success. He's going to be a key point, uh, guy in our bullpen. Rotation wise, we, of course, Andrew, and then you got Darren Osby back from the rotation last year. I think he's going to factor into that slot somewhere. Uh, two other returning guys that are going to be in that mix Max Newton and Jimmy Robbins, both sophomore lefties that threw last year. And then we've got two JC guys that I think will factor in at some point, one being Rush Hickson, who's a local product from here locally, Pike Liberal Arts to uh, junior college transfer. Rush will start or relieve or both. He's going to pitch in an in a important area. And the other guy is a guy out of Georgia named C.J. Carter, also a junior college transfer, that's maybe as versatile a guy as I've ever had. He pitches from about four different angles, and he can do everything, start, relieve, close. Uh, he's going to start out in the rotation. So we've got some pieces, I think, that are good. What, what I don't know today, and we'll find out over the next three, who fits where after Andrew. He's going to get the ball opening night. Everybody knows that. The next game, the next game, and that, those are the pieces we'll figure out in the next three weeks.
Coach, you see the Sun Belt Championships coming in with football and the basketball teams. I know it's a long time away, but how hungry is this team to bring in a trophy of their own? Well, it's time. I mean, we've uh, we've not been into that discussion in the last four seasons. And uh, as a guy that's been here a long time and has grown accustomed to com uh, competing at a high level, uh, we need to get back to that. We need to play better baseball. That's the bottom line. I, I like the ability of our team. I think we've got some guys that can uh, – that. What I can tell you is some of the things this team is capable of, they're similar to some of our better teams that we've had here. That doesn't mean we're going to win the league or win 40 games, not at all. But we've got some capability. Uh, if things line up and we get some confidence and we deal with the adversity you have to deal with in every season, then I think we'll have an opportunity late in the year to maybe challenge for those type things. But, you know, it's certainly great when you – Go through the football season, you know, they've had a great year, won the league, went to a bowl game, won 11 games, and our basketball teams have had success lately. And you certainly feed off of that as a department, uh, you know, our staff, our coaching and our staff certainly, and then our players certainly. You know, we had half our team was in New Orleans for the bowl game. We were out of school. They'd already gone home. And, uh, you know, so they're, they're in with that. And, and I think that plays a lot into who Troy is and what we're trying to do here. So. I hope we can do our part and put a good product out there. And, and, and as the season winds down, we're in that late season push to, to challenge for the league championship.